Hey, my name is Krista Arganchona. Um, I'm an intensive care nurse and I'm also the program manager for the special pathogens program here at Sacred Heart Medical Center. This is Brooke. She's also uh, an intensive care unit nurse that's going to be working with me. So first off, I'm going to kind of go through three different types of masks and explain the difference between those masks to you. And then uh, Brooke and I are actually going to demonstrate the putting on, the donning, and the taking off or the doffing of our personal protective equipment ensemble. Okay, so as we go through this, I just would like to highlight the fact that uh, these pieces of personal protective equipment are Brooke's personal set of training PPE. It's very, as you know, this personal protective equipment is invaluable to our caregivers, and so we use and reuse these pieces over. So I just like to point that out. As we go through the doffing process, I want her to be able to demonstrate how we take it off and, and put it in the trash can, but we have a clean trash can, so afterwards we'll take it out of the trash can and fold it back up and reuse it. So I just like to explain the, that <laughs> process. So you see us digging into the trash can, you'll understand why. Okay. So first I want to go through three different masks. So this is a cloth mask. This is my personal cloth mask from home. Uh, this is very similar to what people are um, using when they go to the grocery store. When it's difficult to maintain that six foot social distancing, uh, this is an opportunity for people to keep this on their face and uh, just like you guys are doing today. So. People in the hospital are allowed to wear these, but just not in patient care isolation areas. So we do have people walking through the hospital wearing their own personal masks. This mask is a simple mask. It's also known as a procedure mask. Um, I'll demonstrate how I put this on. So this one has loops that go around my ears. Um, Okay, I'm going to take it off so you can hear me talk. Uh, also, a surgical mask is the same level of protection, but surgical masks tie above your ears and also tie around your neck. So we use these um, people that are patient-facing or not patient-facing who wear these throughout the hospital. This simple mask is also worn underneath a face shield, which this is a face shield here, to protect that mask when nurses go into a COVID-19 patient room. And I'll talk more through that process as we demonstrate the donning and the doffing. Okay, and then Brooke, do you want to show them your N95 respirator? So this is an N95 respirator, which is the actual mask we're gonna use in the donning and doffing demonstration. And so this provides a closer fit and also provides uh, an efficient filtration of aerosolize, aerosolization or droplets that could become aerosolized. And so we wear this uh, mask in a COVID-19 patient room when there could be an aerosolized procedure in place. So if somebody's having a breathing tube put in or if somebody's having a breathing tube taken out, those are examples of an aerosolized procedure. Okay, all right. Without that, with further ado, we'll go ahead and don and off, and then when we're done with that demonstration, I'll be happy to take questions. So I'm just going to talk Brooke through the process just like we do every day at work. So Brooke, go ahead and perform hand hygiene. And then you're going to don your first pair of gloves. We do use two pairs of gloves in our PPE ensemble, and I'll speak as to why as we go through this process but it provides for a real safe doffing process. Uh, and when we get to that step in the doffing process, I'll explain the rationale. Okay, and now Brooke's gonna don her isolation gown. So this is what's known as a level two um, isolation gown. So she'll put that over her head And then we always tie it in the back. And then next I want to point out, Brooke is wearing a surgical mask. So we, I mean a surgical cap, pardon me. So this is simply to keep her hair out of her face. 
to keep her from wanting to reach up and touch her face at any point. It's like my crazy hair, I have to keep it under a cap or under a bouffant cap because otherwise it falls in my eyes and we want everybody to keep their hands away from their face. So that's the intent of that. Okay, Brooke, next you're gonna put on your N95 respirator. So she's gonna take those two straps and separate them. She's gonna put one that goes below her ears and one on top of her head. And then she wants that part of the mask to extend down underneath her chin. And then as you can see, she's pressing uh, along the bridge of her nose and along her facial bones to make sure it ensures that good snug fit. Okay? Okay, Brooke, next you're going to put on your face shield. So then that face shield extends over and provides that protection of her mucous membranes of, of her eyes and covers that mask. And next you're gonna put on your second pair of gloves. All right, so that's our PPE ensemble. So then she would be ready to go into the patient room. Okay? So now we're going to talk through the doffing process or the taking off process. So first thing you're going to do, Brooke, is perform hand hygiene. And then you're going to doff that external pair of gloves using that glove and glove technique. gently discard those and perform hand hygiene. Now you're going to doff that gown. So you're going to start by untying the gown at the waist. And then you're going to doff that gown, leaning forward and turning it inside out. So she's going to break that part. And you'll notice that she slowly rolls that gown up, leaning it away from her body, touching only the part that was against her scrubs and being very careful not to touch any part that was external facing. And she'll roll that up in a small ball and gently discard it in the garbage can. And then perform hand hygiene. So we perform hand hygiene after every step of doffing a piece of personal protective equipment just in case there are viral particles on our gloves during that doffing process, that's why we do that hand hygiene. Okay, Brooke, now you're going to doff that face shield. So you're just going to reach back and grab that strap, gently lift it off forward, and place it in the garbage can and perform hand hygiene. Now you're going to doff that mask. Same forward motion, starting with the lower straps, gently lifting that off. Now grab the upper strap, gen gently lifting that off and away, being very careful not to touch the outside of that mask and perform hand hygiene. And then you're gonna finish by doffing those gloves using that same glove and glove technique. and perform hand hygiene. There you go.